In this demo, the source to image APB builder will be used to build an APB image from source inside an OpenShift cluster. Using the Ansible Playbook Bundle tools, we will interact with the Ansible Service Broker and the Service Catalog so that we can launch and provision the built APB image within the cluster. The sample APB used for this demo can be found under the APB examples repo in the S2I demo branch shown here. You'll be using this folder. The OpenShift environment used for this demo was created from scripts in the CAD ASP repo shown here. And let's get started and log on to the cluster. What you see here is the default um, login screen. Uh, you'll notice that there is no source to build an image that we could use. So in order to create that, we're going to use a, uh, use a file to create an image stream. So we'll go back to the terminal and do just that. Okay, I already have uh, the source code checked out. So let's go to that folder. And if we do the listing here, you'll see the JSON file. We'll do an OC create on that. And there you go, we got created. Now if we go back to the web UI, you will see the APB builder right there. Let's go create a project. Let's call this a builder APB. And here in the source APB screen, you'll see uh, some default parameters, but we're gonna take the advanced options. We're gonna give it a name as to IPB. And we're going to give it a git repo, and we're going to reference the branch, which S2I demo, which I've shown earlier. And we're going to say the context directory is the subfolder uh, S2I example APB. And because we want this build to just build and not launch, we're going to unselect a couple of the options as you see. And we're going to go ahead and uh, create the build. Now, if we go to the project, we can see the build happening. And if we view the logs, we can see the details of what's going on. It's cloning the repository with the um, branch. And it's going to use the S2I builder to build our image. And that image is going to be internal to OpenShift. And we'll see that. There you go. And we see the, um, the image Docker image repo. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our command line. So we'll do Docker images, and there we see the new build that we just created. And we're going to Docker tag that image with the new label. And we see the new label there. And what we're going to want to do next is to go to our APB source code folder and uh, run our APB tools, namely the APB prepare and APB push. And let's run the APB prepare command. And now we're going to want to do the APB push. And for that, we're going to need the broker route. So we're going to get the broker route by doing an OC get all. I'm going to copy that and use that in our APB push command. Now after we have done the APB push, we like to do an APB list. And that should ask the broker to give us a list of the APBs. And there we see our new APB that we pushed up. Now, we're going to need to wait for the service catalog to get the list of the APBs from the broker. And once that happens, we can refresh the page and we will see our APB. And there it is. We see our APB available to launch. So let's go ahead and launch that by creating a new project. And we'll just uh, call this demo test one. 
and we'll launch our APB in the demo test one. And so far, this is our default APB. We haven't made any edits yet, so this is how it comes. We're going to go and create it. And when we view the project, this is a simple APB. It's just going to launch uh, an Nginx pod. And it's going to just have a default Nginx welcome screen. And if we look at the logs, we see that it's very quick. It already finished. And if we go back, um, our APB has launched and our route is available. And there you have it. You see the welcome to Nginx, the default Nginx screen. And now that we have launched the APB, let's go and make some edits and relaunch our APB. So we'll go back to the terminal and we'll edit the spec file apb.yaml and for this edit we're just going to edit the description. Uh, now because we're just editing the description we will not need to commit any changes or push anything up in Git but we will need to use our APB tools to tell the broker that hey we have changed our description. So that's APB prepare and APB uh, push and let's get the APB list so that we can see and there you have it you see in the terminal we see our update testing update text and we can also verify this in the web UI so let's go to the web UI and again we're gonna have to wait for the service catalog but after we refresh we should be able to click on the APB and see our new description and there you go see the testing update there um, so now again, this did not require git commit and git push, but let's do another edit uh, that does require that. And let's go back to our spec file. And this time, you see a couple of the things already um, commented in. We'll uncomment those. And what I'm going to do here is, instead of the Nginx pod, we're going to go and launch an Apache pod. And we're also going to make it a parameter that we can require the user to do with a default string. And after we save the spec file again, we're going to APB prepare. And we're also going to APB push. And we're going to do APB list again. From here, now we're going to have to do a git commit. And we'll do our commit test. And after we commit, we're going to do a git push. For this demo, uh, I did not set up any triggers or um, things like that. So we're going to have to manually do a build. And we could do that right now by doing an OC start build. Oh, uh, <laughs> I messed up here. You need to do the build from the actual project that we created the build in, which was uh, build APB. So we're going to go to the build APB project and then run the OC start build there and there you go we have a success at built, successfully built now if we go back to the web UI real quick and look at the logs there you see the second build happening and if you view the full logs you'll see our commit message up there because it went to the git and uh, git repo and pulled it the build was successful it was very quick and if you look at the image we still have the latest image that was built a few seconds ago which makes sense now just like we did last time we're gonna need to redock or tag this because our old tag is pointing to the old image. And we're going to go ahead and do that uh, using Docker images to list and then doing a Docker tag. And after we tagged our image, we can go ahead and go back to the web UI and launch our APB. And once again, we're going to have to wait a little bit, but after Service Catalog has re refreshed, there you go, and we can go ahead and create another project and launch our modified APB. Let's call it test2. And we'll go ahead and click on the APB icon. And you see how our just old first edit is still there, and we have a new parameter called image name with our default text already filled in. Let's go ahead and launch that. And if we view it, it's going to go pretty quick, but we're going to go and look at the APB logs. It goes quick, so we're going to let it finish. But we're just going to go back to our pod, APB pod, and see what it did. And if we go to the pod and click on the APB and look at its logs, we'll see 
that it pulled the HTTPD image, Alpine image, which is the Apache image this time, which is what we specified in our parameter. And if we go to the route, you'll see the default, it works. <laughs> and our APB got updated. 